So we are here at the uh, Tata showroom and we are inside the uh, Tiago GTP. This is how the inside uh, looks. This is the display cluster which has RPM on the left and uh, speed on the right. Feels pretty handy. Does not slip off from your hand. The grip is good but could have been better on the steering actually. All kinds of personality can fit inside. Seats are pretty wide and uh, comfortable. This is AC controls, uh, standard car AC controls. That is uh, 3.5 mm jack and uh, USB and this is a uh, charger port. This is the display cluster. The new one has uh, the new display screen. And that is the speaker at that corner and uh, all the controls of the mirrors are here. Mirror control is there. And the uh, driver side mic that is there here. Pretty comfortable. How about the back seat? Lot of leg room. Huh? Yeah. The only thing that I have to test now is the sport driving because it's a sport version what they've claimed from Tata. And that's what we have come here to test. 150 Newton meters of torque is like literally too much. This is for the uh, infotainment control, I guess. Top down, this call features, sound. Everything is here. Is this, is this something called a sport here? Yeah, I think this activates the sport uh, version of the yeah, car. car yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go out and check. Fine, let's go. Okay, this, uh, they've made it very sporty. Your car is actually very sporty. They've made a lot of design changes for the normal Tiago. Yeah, this looks perfect. And this is actually working. Hmm? Air goes out of this, and this nice touch here JTP looks very sporty. Open the boot. Open. Very different kind of, yeah, uh, some kind of lock. And boot space is also really big. 400 some odd liters, what they told. And there are some nice hooks. This is the tool kit. And this is the back board, what is here. One uh, cool thing I, I have to show you guys, this uh, top plate which is having this kind of design is actually both the international circuit, what they've engraved on that. Looks really, really sick. That kind of, some element of racing in your car makes it kind of special. There's a three-cylinder engine, 1200cc engine has 150 newton meter of torque for a hatchback that's sick but only thing is that these doors are like very very tight this door literally feels so heavy for me i don't know what is the problem or problem with this car okay guys let's go and drive the car once full bundle full throttle kudu full 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 To start with, the seats are very comfortable inside, For very very comfortable for two people and for three people it's just congested. For city rides, this drives perfect. As they said, this is a sport version. Uh, now we did uh, full throttle and the full throttle was not up to the mark and was satisfactory for 8 to 9, 10 lakh of budget. Getting that kind of exhaust and such pops is good enough for a sports enthusiast. But that good quality exhaust sound can only be experienced if you are very near to the exhaust pipe. If not, you are just gonna hear some plain sound of the car. Suspensions are stiff and good enough for city. Good ground clearance makes it good enough for all kinds of potholes which you come across in city. Overall. I would rate this car at 3.8 out of 5 as uh, they could have done better justice, they could have done more uh, better performance for the car 
and for normal people for normal common people adults this might not seem so such a fantasy so it would be much better decision if they could go for non gtp version as it would just eat up extra money overall a very good product from tata hope that tata makes more and more such sports vehicles that uh, people can actually enjoy thank you guys for seeing this video please consider subscribing like comment and share and see you again in next video